So let's zoom in to the renal, renal corpuscle, which is this whole structure here, and look more closely at the renal process that occurs there, which is going to be filtration. So let's zoom into that structure there. The renal corpuscle is made up of the glomerular capsule. As you know, cap and inside that glomerulus, just like is shown up there. The glomerulus is covered in cells called um, podocytes. This refers to like, feet. Um, these cells, like here's one, here's another, they cover this capillary with um, their structures and allow for regulation of increased um, ability to, to filter out this, the blood. So let's see another view of this. There we are, here is these um, cell bodies that contain filtration slits. So we're going to be able to filter the filtrate through while keeping blood cells and proteins going this way. So keeping them from, from going through. Um, I believe there's a couple more structures I want to tell you the names of on this page, um, on this view here. Okay, we've got, I think the other, other one is in here. This is... Um, our capsular space in between there. This is gonna be the, our proximal convoluted tub tubule. So filtrate is gonna enter that first. Okay, I think that's good. Let's look at a view. Um, we're gonna zoom in to like a cross section right there where filtration occurs. Okay, this is the filtration membrane. So we're looking at a membrane, meaning more than one cell type. We're separating the blood from the filtrate that's in that glomerular capsule. And similar to the respiratory membrane, it's made up of more than one layer of cells. So we are going to have you could probably guess here, the capillary endothelium, this is a fenestrated capillary, so there's fenestrations or pores um, located here. We're going to have a basement membrane that connects our endothelium to the um, glomerular capsule itself. So this is the foot process of what you think the podocyte this here is the capsular space. Um, this was the blood here. This is a filtration slit. So we've got a pore in the capillary endothelium, the glomerulus, and we've got filtration slits in between these foot processes. I believe that is what I need for anatomy. And then what this is going to allow, again, is, again, meaning I said this before, so things that cannot go through red blood cells, plasma proteins, such as albumin, IgGs, etc., cetera, um, protein-bound hormones, stuff like that. 
things that can go through is pretty much everything else. So water, electrolytes, wastes, um, glucose, lipids, other vitamins, fatty acids, amino acids. That's why reabsorption is so important. A lot of good stuff is passing through here. We need to be able to take it back in again. Um, 